everybody, my name is Amanda from scrimpingmommy.co.uk and today we're going to make some really super fast, really pretty packaging. Uh, I hear ladies regular say, oh I need a box for such and such but I can't find one big enough or how do I make this to fit this big item in? Well, why not just make a bag? <laughs> it's easier. And these are pre-bought but look how big they grow. You can put a big item in there, no problem, or you can fold it up and put a smaller item, um, the Brilliant. I buy these locally, the 69p for 10. If you live in the UK, you can get them from Home Bargains, you can get them from the range. I've seen them all over. Um, you know, brilliant. And the lovely craft, craft style um, paper. Beautiful, I think they're awesome. And they're really, really easy to alter. So, what we're gonna do, first of all, is do the really first difficult tricky step <laughs> we're going to cut the handles off we don't want the handles on you can alter them with the handles on and make them pretty but for this one we don't need them okay there we go oops i've snipped my bag a bit there not to worry okay so now it is gusseted like that we're going to just push the gusset down and we're going to layer front and back with some cardstock or you could use DSP I'm actually using cardstock today because I don't have a DSP that coordinates with what I want to do <laughs> so I'm using what I've got and that's what I suggest you do um, I know that for my bag it needs to be seven and three quarters by six and three quarters adjust your measurements to suit yourself I'm just leaving a small increment all the way around because I want to be able to see some of this brown paper bag so uh, six and three quarters by seven and three quarters and that's one one for the front I'm gonna do one on the back as well might as well so I want two pieces at that size Six and three quarters by seven and three quarters. All the measurements will be on my blog um, and the list of supplies so you can see what I've used. Okay, now I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't need that now. Right, now I'm going to use, if I can find it, <laughs> oh, here we are. I'm using the Petal Garden papers. Uh, so I just need to find one that's going to coordinate nicely. Uh, shall we have that? That's quite pretty, isn't it? Uh, I did fancy a bit of the Calypso Coral. Oh yeah, will that go? Oh no, it doesn't go with that. We'll, have, we'll go with that one. Right, so I need one for the back as well. Or I could just leave the back plain. I think I'll leave the back plain card stop. And what I'm also going to be using is, let me just show you, my lovely, beloved collection of Memories and Mark cards. They're awesome, not just for your memory making, keeping, sorry, but also for other things. So let's get cracking. Let's get this layered front and back on our paper bag. Um, for quickness of the video I'm going to just use snail you want to be using fast fuse or wet glue in reality it's one of them uh, do as I ask not as I do <laughs> so don't use snail although it might be all right okay so I'm going to try and line this up bearing in mind you know Paper bags are not always the most symmetrical of items, so just do your best and just try and get it as straight-ish as you can. That'll do for me. Okay, so that's one. Turn it over. There. Now you can remove the handles totally, uh, you know, 
just be very careful it will be fine but you can't see those handles under that under that cardstock okay uh, and it does help give you some strength to your bag like I say use fast fuse or wet glue not snail because <laughs> it's not holding it terribly beautifully um, so I'm using this lovely DSP now which I'm now going to layer over my cardstock so you know you've got engine going kids are all in car and you just need a gift bag so we're going to have that just up from where the gusset would fold so you are going to have a band there you could fill it with something else if you wanted okay because then when your bag opens like so that looks ever so pretty okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the top of this with some fancy scissors just because I have them if you don't have them you might have a border punch you could use let me just you might have a border punch or a border die just make it you know if you've got time if not uh, leave it plain it doesn't really matter okay right so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to measure two little marks um, and I know I need um, let me just get, reach for my ribbon um, what ribbon shall we have we're going to have to have that because I don't have a sweet sugar plum one if I'm honest I've got fresh fig oh we'll have fresh fig <laughs> so I'm going to make because my bag measures what does it measure? Because my bag is seven inches, I'm going to mark my holes at two and a half and four and a half. Let me just move it down slightly. So two and a half and four and a half. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is because my my trusty hole punch is not that fantastic, I'm going to do it inside you know like one layer at a time if you've got a strong hole punch you can go through the whole lot so that's one and that's two and then I'm close my bag and I can go back through the same hole so that it punches all the way through to the other side of my bag come on don't be naughty don't want to do it because I've got a rubbish hole punch. Let me try that way. There we go. Okay. So I've got my holes now. I'm going to get some ribbon. Mm, don't need an awful lot of ribbon. My scissors gone. Need some scissors. If I feed it through the back, you put all your items in there. Okay. And look how, how big it goes. So you put your items in. Okay, your candles or your smellies or your chocolates or your little toys. But you'd do it with different paper if it was for a, a kiddie. Um, I reckon about that much ribbon should be enough. Or you could make a little box with some note cards in and then put it in the pretty bag. Loads of ideas, loads of them. Uh, you know, I could uh, give you ideas all day long. You just put in whatever, you, whatever you're gifting. A scarf. You could even fold up a t-shirt and fit a t-shirt inside there because it's big enough. Okay. I'm going to do... Just a double knot there, like so. I'm not going to do a bow because it stresses me out doing a bow on camera. I'm going to use my funky scissors. Cut that one that way and that one that way. Okay. Cut that the wrong way. Don't matter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jazz it up even more. That's bugging me. I don't like it. Hold on a minute. <laughs> don't like it. Uh, let me cut it shorter. There we go. I like it again now. 
Right, so I'm using my memories and more cards. So let's have a look. So I like this one here. It says, you make me smile. But I want another. I think I want, because I've got all that white there. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to layer it. There we go. I'll use that. I'm going to layer it under another. Like that. Shall I? Or shall I do it like that? I'm going to have them like that. Okay, can you see what I've done there? So I'm just, and I'm going to just glue them on. Well, snail it on. Just like that. Okay. Except what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel that back and I'm going to stick it down actually straight. Because <laughs> that is proper wonka. Let me try again. I hope you can't hear my tummy bubbling. I'm starving and I can hear my stomach rumbling. I hope you can't hear it on camera. Now what I'm going to do as well is, so I'm going to clip that and I'm going to use one of the lovely binder clips. Like so. And because I can never leave things alone and I've got to always add that little bit more, I'm going to use some of these stickers that are in the Petal Garden Memories and More. I think I'm going to have this one here, like so. Quite like that. I don't know if it's going to be a bit big. It might be. Let's have a look. Oh, is it a bit big? It's too big, isn't it? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, am I having it like... No, it's too big. It's too big! <laughs> no, not having it. Uh, so we'll have... Yeah, I could do with another sticker. Uh, I want another sticker! Um... That's bugging me now because I want another sticker up there. Mm, watch me. I'm having a sticker. <laughs> I'll cut it out. It's too big, so I'll cut it. Because, I, um, you know, when I've got it in my head that I want to do something, I want to do it. It's as simple as that. Uh, so let me just... I just make an adjustment, trim that, where there's a will there's a way, I want my leaves there and I want my flower there, let me just move it up a little bit, yeah, there we go, I think I want another leaf, is it giving me some leaves, I want to use these, yeah, I want another leaf under there, because I can, and they're there, and I want them. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? There we go. That's, uh, I'll use this for, if I can get it off my grid paper. Put it back on there, and I'll use that for something else. Uh, now, what else can I put on there? <laughs> Let me get my gems. Because I think we could have a little rainbow crystal on there. I absolutely love these. Well, when I say rainbow crystal, what I actually mean is, let me just move that, a, a glitter gem. And I think I want that one. I want that one there. And then I'm going to go up in colour increments lighter. Get down. Buy now, party's over, that you're making this bag for. <laughs> no, but nobody else will have a bag like this, will they? Because you've made it yourself, you know. You haven't been to Clinton's or, you know, that other cheap one, Birthdays or whatever it's called. Card Factory. We haven't been to Card Factory for it. We've made it ourselves. So, <laughs> so it's something a bit special. So there you go, you've got a lovely, very wide gusseted bag, it will fit absolutely anything in there, kitchen sink, whatever you want, go and have some fun, more than just cards for stamping up, you can make anything you want, go and have fun, thanks for watching.